सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुली दिस वीक वीर डिस्कसिंग एन इमेज फ्रॉम आउटर स्पेस एंड इट्स काइंड ऑफ एन अनयूजल एंड माइंड ब्लोइंग इमेज दिस इज द इमेज एंड इट वॉज टेकन बाई ना जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलीस्कोप This image shows us something astounding. The rings in this image are actual physical rings in space and they are not an aberration of the camera or a processing error. This image shows at least 17 concentric dust rings that are originating from a pair of stars that are visible in the center. These stars are over 5000 light years away and for that distance this image is quite surprisingly detailed. So how did these rings form what are they made of and how long did they take to form why are the stars so close together what does this image mean and why are astronomers so extremely excited about this particular image well it all comes down to what we already know and what we are trying to learn about wolfrayet stars previously Even in 2009 we thought that there were two rings around the binary stars the bright dot in the center that looks like one star is actually two stars and they are 5300 light years away the two together are known as wolfrayet 140 this is a binary star system and the two stars orbit each other and they do so every 8 years each ring in this image was created when the stars came close to each other every 8 years and this process keeps repeating as the stars move about in their orbits around each other when these two stars are farthest apart in their respective orbits they are about 3 billion kilometers away from each other when they are closest they are about 1 billion kilometers apart the smaller star is an o type star and the larger one in the system which is in the smaller orbit is an aging o type star called a wolfrayet star this massive wolfrayet star keeps ejecting large amounts of gas and this is exacerbated when the other star comes nearby tugging at it furthermore the gas ejected from the wolfrayet star collides with that from the partner star under extremely intense pressures at astronomical scales These two stars are wildly larger and more massive than our sun and when they approach each other they are on the way to tearing each other apart with their gravitational pull but just not quite there yet the streams of radiation or stellar winds that emanate from these two stars compress the gas that gets blown out from both stars and this compression in the vacuum of space results in the formation of dust The dust here that is visible in these images are actually made up of gas particles basically including atomic carbon. NASA describes these rings as being similar to a tree's rings. Each dust loop marks 8 years that have passed. The image shows 17 rings which means that we are looking at over a centuries worth stellar interaction evidence. We have seen the star before and we've imaged it but Webb's infrared instruments have captured it in more detail than has ever been seen before. There are many other wolfrayet stars in the universe which we have also imaged and we can see in photographs that these give off clouds of dust as well. But nothing that we photographed or observed before has formed these concentric ring patterns. NASA describes these patterns as fingerprint patterns. If there's a 3D printout of this particular image, a visually disabled person could accurately imagine and visualize and understand the image, and that is exactly what the space agency has done. There is a 3D printout of this fingerprint image. These particular set of readings also show the power of the James Webb Space Telescope. With our most powerful ground-based telescopes earlier, we could only see two blurry rings, but now we can see 17 distinct rings that we can tell are made of dust. The visualization and observation provides evidence that wolfrayet stars, which are relatively rare, produce carbon-rich dust molecules. 
and it shows that the dust can survive in these hostile harsh environments that are dominated by these two stars for a very long time. Finding dust around stars is like finding water on exoplanets. It is immediately exciting because the dust provides material to form other planets and stars. So there is always scope for finding more things when there is dust around stars. What is next is hunting for some missing wolf rayet stars. Astronomers estimate that about a thousand or so wolf rayet pairs should be visible around us, but we have only so far detected about 600 or so. As we find more and more of these kinds of stars, we will find more information and we will understand more about the formation of our own sun and our solar system. Wolf rayet stars release dust and gravitationally clear their area. As this dust gets built up at the outer edges, the quantity of dust can be dense enough for dust particles to come together and form new stars. Many astronomers believe that this is how our sun formed.